Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fearless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punch Wally Garage. Good morning. How you doing all right? Today is Thursday, June the 6th, 2024, year of our Lord. This is season number two, episode number 158. In today's show, we will talk about Simpson Helmets. Santa, and Horses and Cows. Let's go. In My Life, the 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas. I thought I saw something moving on the cameras. From the powerful CHUMP Studios, brought to you by a reliable diamond tool. That's ReadyToo.com, R-E-D-I-T-O-O.com. Check them out. Also, I would like to welcome a new sponsor, Simpson Helmets. And if you don't know who Simpson Helmets are, you're doing something wrong. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to April of 2024. And this is a Simpson Helmet story. So there's a friend of the family uh, that had uh, he had bought a chopper from us and good kid and I saw him ride up one day and then he walked in the store and he wasn't wearing a helmet and I said what's wrong with you? Why aren't you wearing a helmet? And he said hey boss, hey boss, uh, your daughter ordered me, a special ordered me a helmet, it's here. So I didn't wear a helmet up here so I could wear the helmet, you know, on the way home. And uh, Biggin had a helmet for him, bought the helmet, hung out for a while, left. Then we get a call that said uh, he had been in an accident a couple of miles from here. Somebody had uh, turned and hit him and knocked him down. And uh, Elliot, my daughter's future husband, said, did you hit your head? And he said, no, I didn't hit my head. He was wearing his new Simpson helmet, but he didn't hit his head. So we sent the truck down there and pick him up, brought him back. He was scraped up. The bike was pretty beat up. And uh, actually, they totaled that bike. And we was talking about he's lucky he didn't hit his head. And they pulled the Simpson helmet out of the back of the truck. And it had a big flat spot right here that ground into the cement. He hit his head so hard it flattened the helmet. And he didn't even know he hit it. What I told him is what I would tell you. Had that have been... He, he had not have been wearing a helmet, he would have been in big trouble. Because once you crack this egg, you can't put that egg back together. You know, I've told people, and this is true, I've been to, uh, I've seen a lot of, of people with motorcycle accidents, but I've never seen anybody... Uh, severely injured wearing a helmet. Now, my, my family, we all wear full face helmets and Simpson is our choice in helmets. So that's the thing about Josh, the kid that was on the bike is, uh, you know, he's lucky that he was wearing a helmet and he was wearing a full face Simpson and I'm here to tell you, it totaled the bike and it saved his life. All right, let's check that truck. Check that truck, you big Woo, hey, man, what you got going on there? Well, you got some red and some blue and some blue and some yellow and some green. Look at that. That's patchwork, dude. Yeah, I don't like to brag, but it is. You got a clear with black Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star logo. White. To white so double black racing stripes two vent hose 
white shoestrings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. Hmm. These are, say it with me, y'all. These are some handsome chucks. You want to look around the office? Okay. That's my grandma that uh, writes the letters. But I'm going to guess that was probably from late 20s, early 30s. Because she was born in 1911. And I'd say in this picture, she's less than 20. So that's where we'll be in the office today. Look how pretty my grandma was. You know, and it just it just shows that we, we all were young and beautiful. Well, we were all young at one time, but my grandma was young and vibrant and beautiful. And uh, I sure do miss her. All right. Let's read Grandma's calendar. How about you, boy? So, Thursday, December the 6th, June 1949. Dick started to work at the elevator this morning. I washed today. Okay, so when she says started to work at the elevator, I'm guessing that's the grain elevator. You know, because it's going to be in Sayer or around Sayer. So, uh, in 49, my grandpa would have been, let's see. Forty years old, roughly. Thirty-nine, forty. Not long after that, he went to work for uh, Beckham County, and then he was the county commissioner for many years. Very proud of my grandma and my grandpa. Uh, dad joke: What is Santa's favorite state? Idaho, ho, ho. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. A person's best asset is their heart. Follow yours and happiness will be there. It will be there. So, talking about the helmets again. When I was young, and even when I was older, I didn't always wear a helmet. And if I rode one of my choppers, I just didn't think it looked cool wearing a helmet. I was wrong. When I ride my high dollar custom choppers, I wear a helmet and I wear a full face helmet because I have seen what happens if you don't. And I just feel so much more protected and I know that I am so much more protected wearing a helmet and a full face helmet on top of that. Well, Simpson helmets are the best money can buy. They build racing helmets. They build them for the race car industry. They build them for the motorcycle industry. And when you see the boys around town that ride hard and fast and a lot, they're wearing Simpson full face helmets. So I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I, ch I, I support your right to choose whether you wear a helmet or not, but I can tell you your best bet is to wear a helmet. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. Did you know horses and cows usually sleep standing up and that boys and squirrels, uh, girls is the rest of the story. So, Strokers Dallas merch, merch.com. Check us out. Check out Reliable Diamond Tool, ReadyTo.com, R E D I T O O.com. And check out Simpson Helmets. We have a full line of them here, and we are experts on the Simpsons. All right, Rick, fearless, fearless. I got to go. Love you, bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow.